some problems on vector equation of straight line and planes first problem one find the vector equation of the straight line through the points a 1 2 minus 3 and b 2 minus 1 1 sorry Two minus one one. Fine. The distance of the point. One minus two one from the line from the line AB measured parallel to the vector three one two. So, first to draw the following straight line. This is the point A with coordinates 1, 2, minus 3. And this is the point B with coordinates 2, minus 1, 1. Join the point A and B, points A and B, the line AB, line segment AB, and this the choose the choose the origin any point O as origin, and with respect to the origin O, the position vector of A that is O A vector is equal to small A vector, and O B vector is equal to small V vector, and P B any point on the line segment on this line, so. So P is any point on the line AB. OP is equal to R vector. And Q is a point with coordinates 1, minus 2, 1. We have to find the distance uh, of the point Q from the straight line AB parallel to the vector, given vector alpha, uh, 3, 1, 2. That means uh, 3i cap plus g cap plus 2k cap. First, we have to find the equation uh, of the straight line AB. So, here OA vector equal to small a vector, and this small a vector equal to here 1, comma 2, comma minus 3, and OB vector equal to small v vector equal to 2 comma minus 1 comma 1 and op vector equal to small r vector that is equal to small x comma small y comma small z coordinates this components of the vector 
So equation of the straight line AB here note that the vector PA vector PA this is the line PA and AB and AB vector AB are collinear are collinear this is the PA vector and AB vector are collinear and so PA vector cross AB vector equal to zero vector since p and a b vector are collinear then p a vector and a b vector are zero vector now p a vector means p a that is o a vector minus o p vector cross a b vector means o b vector minus o a vector is equal to zero vector so this implies o a vector means small a vector o p vector means smaller vector this cross o b vector means small b vector minus a vector this is equal to zero vector so this implies um, can be written in minus common r vector minus a vector cross b vector minus a vector equal to zero vector now call it equation one now b vector minus a vector this equal to b vector means here two minus one comma one and a vector means one comma two comma minus three so 2 minus 1 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 3 1 comma minus plus 3 so this 4 so from 1 we get this implies r vector minus a vector here a vector means a vector means 1 comma 2 comma minus 3 this cross b minus a vector that is 1 minus 3 4 is equal to 0 vector so this is the required equation of the straight line this is the required equation of the line a b line a b First answer. Second answer and the distance of the point Q from the line AB parallel to the vector alpha. Alpha is given by 1, 3, 1, 2. So 3i cap plus g cap plus k cap. If QN and uh, joining uh, the line parallel to this vector alpha vector and this line QN intersect the line AB at the point N. If Q and B distance of the point Q with coordinates 1, minus 2, 1 from the line AB measured parallel to the vector alpha, then obviously Q in is equal to modulus of Q into alpha cap since the direction of alpha vector and Q in vector is same so second part of this question to find the distance of qn now qn vector is equal to modulus of qn and this alpha cap since alpha vector and qn vector are parallel by the given condition parallel vectors here so alpha cap is the unit vector along this now alpha cap equal to unit vector alpha vector 
by modulus of alpha alpha vector this equal to 3 1 2 modulus of alpha vector equal to root over of 3 square plus 1 square plus 2 square that is equal to 1 by root 14 3 1 2 this is alpha cap sorry 3 1 alpha cap is the unit vector in the direction of alpha then o in vector this equal to o q vector plus q in vector see the figure here o o in vector o in vector equal to o q vector plus q in vector o in vector equal to o q vector plus q in vector o in vector equal to o q vector plus q in vector this equal to o q vector equal to position vector of q point o q vector equal to 1 minus 2 1 1 minus 2 1 is the 1 minus 2 1 plus q n vector this q n vector is equal to mod of q n into alpha cap so this is equal to mod of modulus of q n into alpha cap alpha cap means 1 by root 14 3 1 2 at the previous relation so o n vector is equal to this call it 2 expression 2 since point n is a point on the line AB on the line AB, so ON position vector of n vector satisfies satisfies the equation of the line of the line AB. So, O in well, equation of the line AB that means equation 1. Equation 1 here, equation 1 is this R minus 1, 2, 3, minus 3. So, R minus means O in minus O in minus. 1 to minus 3 1 to minus 3 cross cross uh, b minus a means here 1 minus 3 4 1 minus 3 4 1 minus 3 4 is equal to 0 vector so from this relation when vector is equal to this so put the value of when from the equation 2 this implies when value of when is equal to 1 minus 2 1 minus sorry plus modulus of q n into 1 by root 14 3 1 2 is the when vector minus 1 2 minus 3 this cross vector cross product of 1 minus 3 4 is equal to 0 vector since the when is equal to given by 2 so put here hello of when from 2 and this simplification so uh, cross product this minus this cross this this cross this and this cross this and find the value of this so from this 1 minus 2 1 into cross of cross of 1 minus 3 4 plus modulus of q n by root 14 into 3 1 2 cross 
1 minus 3 4 minus 1 2 minus 3 cross cross 1 minus 3 4 is equal to 0 vector and so uh, find the values of this cross products three cross products this 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 so find the values of this and uh, from this you get the value of after simplification from algebraic simplification you get the value of the modulus value of the uh, qn and this is equal to 2 by 5 into root 14 units and uh, this is the answer after simplification the homework for this home task for this and the, find the cross product uh, for this is 1 minus 2 1 and cross of 1 minus 3 4 and you get the value this i j k 1 minus 2 1 1 minus 3 4 and determinant of this result you get this and similarly other this is the answer and similarly with others you get the answer this okay next problem find the perpendicular distance question 2 find the perpendicular distance distance of the point a 3 2 minus 1 from the state line state line through the points through the points p 2 minus 1 4 q 4 1 2 by using vector method find the perpendicular distance of the point this a from the state line through the point p and q by using vector method so first draw the line here Next, we draw the point A in perpendicular distance from this point so let this point A from this point draw a perpendicular distance in this is the point O and join the point A sorry this is the point P join this point A the point P and then
let this point P, this point Q, this point A with position 3, 2, minus 1. This angle is theta, this origin O, this point is N. Coordinate of P equal to 2 minus 1, 4. And coordinate of Q is 4, 1, 2. And E be any point on the line PQ. Uh, this is called R, capital R, with position vector R. So OR is equal to small r vector. So we have to find the perpendicular distance of the point A. So we have to find the perpendicular distance means A n. A n is the perpendicular on the line P Q. So we have to find the distance A n, perpendicular distance from the point A. And from the straight line through the points, this, this P Q straight line, P and Q points is given, are given. And we draw a line, straight line segment P Q. And A is given point. Uh, so we have to find the perpendicular distance. This n is 90 degree. A n q is 90 degree. Perpendicular distance. A n o q is 90 degree, and o is a some origin. Here, p r and p r and p q are collinear. P R vector and P Q vector are collinear. Collinear, and so P R vector cross P Q vector is equal to zero vector. P R vector and P Q vector are collinear. They uh, both lie on the same line. So from this o, o R minus O R minus O P cross O Q minus O P is equal to zero vector. Now O R means smaller vector and O P vector is equal to the position of the vector. Uh, position of the point position vector op op is 2 minus 1 4 so this is the 2 minus 1 4 2 minus 1 4 cross oq minus op oq means oq is 4 1 2 so this 4 1 2 minus op 2 minus 1 4 is equal to zero vector and this is the uh, vector equation uh, of the straight line pq non non parametric form so simplification get r vector minus 2 minus 1 4 cross 4 minus 2 2 1 minus 1 is 2 and these 2 minus 4 minus 2 equal to 0 factor. Let's call it 1. And this is the uh, equation of the line PQ. Equation of the line PQ. Now, PN is the length of the projection. PN is the length of the projection of PA. Now, this is the equation. The equation of the line PQ. This is the equation of the line PQ. Now PN is the length of the projection of the projection of PA along the line 1 pn is the 
length of the projection of PA. PA is the PN is the length of the projection PA. So this is the PA. This is the PA. So this PA, the projection of the line PA of the line segment PA on the line PQ is is PN. So PN is the projection of the line segment PA on the line PQ. So Pn is equal to uh, modulus of Pa vector dot q vector minus small p vector. Sorry, the, this is the unit vector. Unit vector. This is the unit vector. Q unit vector and small p unit vector. Here, small q unit vector means the unit vector that is uh, this is the pq pq is, is equal to oq minus op op so this is called oq called q vector minus small q vector op the small q vector so pq cap is the unit vector along pq this is equal to q cap minus p cap this is the unit vector along oq is the unit vector along op so this is actually the this is the, actually the PUK, PQ cap. This is the unit vector along PQ. This is the unit vector along PQ. So the, by the definition, so uh, PN, PN is the PN is the PN is the vector PA with dot product uh, modulus of the dot product dot product of the PQ. So PN is the pn is the pn is the so here uh, some uh, this is the line so this is suppose this is the pa so pa is the projection on the line this line this so this so pa pa this this vector pa and pn equal to pn means the length of pn modulus of pn vector Pn vector is equal to Pa vector into dot product of this along this is the point Q. So this unit vector along this unit vector. If this unit vector is say something, suppose this unit vector is U cap, suppose. So Pn is equal to Pa vector dot U cap. Here U cap means Q cap minus P cap. So this is the definition modulus of this. So find the Pa vector. So here PA means OA minus OP dot dot Q cap minus P cap. So Q cap minus P cap um, after simplification you get this result 1 by uh, root over 12 into 2 2 minus 2 dot product of this and modulus of this. So along the pq cap is equal to this along the pq cap is equal to this this is the uh, this is the pq vector this pq vector 2 2 minus 2 uh, 2 to 4 4 4 4 4 4 12 so 1 by root 12 1 by root 12 2 into 2 minus 2 that is the unit vector of this so this is equal to 1 by root 12 root over 12 this 1 3 minus 5 dot 2 2 minus 2 2 2 minus 2 modulus of this vector modulus of this vector sorry to modulus sign modulus sign Modulus sign. This is the modulus. Two, two minus two, minus two. Dot product this vector, and you get the result after simplification. One by root over twelve into eighteen. Eighteen by root twelve. So this is the uh, pn is the this eighteen by root twelve. 
therefore since perpendicular distance since perpendicular distance of the point a from the line 1 from the line 1 is a n a n is equal to n means p a into sine theta if theta be the angle this so if theta be the angle of this this is the angle of theta so a n a n is equal to a n by p a uh, perpendicular by hypotenuse is equal to sin theta so a n we have to find the length of the n so a n equal to p a length of p a into sin of theta where theta is the angle uh, uh, angle a p n angle a p n so this equal to you can write p a factor cross q cap minus p cap unit vector the modulus of this p vector this because uh, this means modulus of this modulus of this into sign of angle between them so modulus of this is equal to p a and modulus of this equal to 1 and angle between them means angle between them means means angle between p a and and this uh, u cap u cap means q cap minus p cap so uh, angle between them is theta sign of this the modulus of this so is scalar quantity so this equal to modulus of 1 3 minus 5 cross 1 by root 12 into 2 2 minus 2 modulus of this so after simplification you get this result root over 96 by 12 that's equal to root over root 8 unit root 8 unit this is the result a in distance each root over 8 8 means root over 8 4 to 8 so 2 root 2 units this is the answer purple distance a in of this next problem determine determine the vector equation vector equation of the plane passing through passing through the points a four five one b on zero minus one one minus one minus one minus one and c three nine four in normal form normal form find the position of the points p 1 1 2 and q minus 1 3 1 relative to relative to the plane abc to the plane a b c determine the vector equation of the plane passing through the point three points a b c in normal form 
so first we have to determine the equation vector equation of the plane passing through these three points a b c and then find the position of the points p and q relative to the plane a b c first we draw a plane here And this is the point A, the point B, and this is the point C on the plane. Join the AB, join AC, this. So this equal to AC vector, this equal to AB vector. And on this plane, let P be any point on this plane. And here uh, consider the point O. O is the origin. O is the origin O. This AP this is the AP vector. P is any point. P is any point on the plane. And so OA vector. is the a vector small a vector and ob vector small a vector and op vector op vector is the smaller vector arbitrary vector and draw a perpendicular from the point o to the plane this is the n vector n vector is the perpendicular vector to the plane from O, the point O. Here, vector AC equal to OC minus OA vector. So OC means here OC means C equal to three nine four, and OA means four five one. So AC vector means minus 1 4 3 and a b vector equal to ob vector minus oa vector now ob vector equal to 0 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and oa vector equal to 3 oa vector equal to 4 5 1 so a b vector equal to uh, minus 4 minus 6 and minus 2 this is the a b vector so a b cross a c a b cross a c vector is equal to i cap g cap k cap a vector means minus 4 minus 6 minus 2 a c vector means minus 1 4 3 so determinant of this and after simplification you get the result is equal to minus 2 into 5 i cap minus 7 j cap plus 11 k cap and this called this vector is q vector say q vector say so a b cross a c is this and in vector let in vector be the perpendicular vector perpendicular vector vector hmm, to the plane to the to the required plane required plane plane the equation of the plane is the equation of the plane is 
r vector minus p vector dot q vector is equal to zero this is scalar quantity dot product so r minus a vector here r vector is this so this is the ep vector is the r minus a vector r minus a vector this is the ep vector a, 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 this position vector of is the r vector p position vector is a vector small a vector so uh, ap vector is equal to r minus a vector r minus a ap vector is equal to r minus a and q vector is the ab cross ac ab cross ac so ab cross ac is the perpendicular to the plane this obviously this is the perpendicular vector to the plane this perpendicular vector this so ap ap vector ap and the uh, ab cross ac ab cross ac is the perpendicular vector to the plane this is the ab cross ac this is the q vector so this vector and dot product of this vector obviously since ap line ap vector uh, lies in the plane lies in the plane and q vector that means ab cross ac is perpendicular to the plane so dot product is obviously zero zero and this is the equation of the plane this is the equation of the plane this implies r vector dot q vector equal to a vector dot q vector easily and find the result from this this is equal to a vector dot q vector means a vector a vector is uh, 4 a vector is 4 5 1 and q vector 4 5 1 uh, dot product of q vector q vector is this minus 2 minus 2 5 comma minus 7 comma 11 so dot product of these vectors this equal to this equal to 8 this equal to 8 now q vector q vector is equal to mod of q vector modulus of q vector equal to modulus of minus 2 into modulus of 5 minus 7 11 so this is equal to 2 into 2 power of 5 square plus minus 7 a square plus 11 square 2 power of this and this equal to 2 root of heart 195 so mod of q vector equal to this so so r dot q vector equal to 8 so r dot q vector equal to 8 so dividing on both sides by mod of modulus of q vector r dot q vector equal to 8 dividing both sides by modulus of q vector modulus of q vector and to form the normal form to get the normal form of the equation of the plane so then this equal to this this implies and r dot q vector r dot q vector q vector here q vector means minus 2 5 minus 7 11 by modulus of q vector 2 root over 195 this equal to 8 by 2 root over 195 and this is the normal form of this so from this we get r vector dot uh, minus 5 7 minus 11 equal to 4 and this is the a normal form of the required plane normal form normal form of the required plane required plane and next part find the position of the points p and q then p is some point and the position of the point p and q now 
we know that second part the question for the plane r vector dot in cap equal to p two points a with position vector a and b point with position vector b lie on the opposite side opposite sides of that plane of that plane if if p minus p minus a vector dot in cap and p minus b vector dot in cap have opposite sign have opposite sign and the points a and b lie on the same side lie on the same side same side of that plane if if p minus a vector dot in cap and p minus b vector dot in cap have the same sign have the same sign same sign so we have to find the point now for the point p it coordinates 1 1 2 for the point this so find p minus small p minus b dot this so here p equal to 4 4 the equation a normal equation of the plane 4 minus r vector dot minus 5 7 minus 11 this is a normal equation of the plane so put the point position vector r in place of the point p so 4 minus 1 1 2 dot minus 5 7 minus 11 in the not this is the normal equation this is equal to 0 normal equation of the plane so in place of the r vector put the uh, uh, position vector of p with respect to origin o so after simplification you get the result 24 obviously greater than 0 and for the point q for the point q with coordinates minus 1 3 1 so find 4 minus r vector dot minus 5 minus 7 minus 11 put the point q is equal to 4 minus minus 1 3 1 dot minus 5 7 minus 11 after simplification to get this minus 11 so this result are opposite signs and thus the points p and q lie on the opposite sides of the plane one answer this completes today's lecture thank you